Okay guys, Shaber1000 here. Today, we're going to get this taken care of. That is hard water stains. That's within about, when was it? Four days, I think it was. So, uh, let's put a water softener in the house. So we've got these test strips, it's real simple. We dip it in some water. Uh, we hold it horizontally for 15 seconds. And then we read it up here on this chart uh, within 30 seconds. So let's get one of these test strips out. Ow. Because we're going to check this before and after. And what we'll do is we'll read it with this. So, let me grab a cup. Grab some water real quick. I had the water off and I forgot to grab the camera. So, I got a cup here. Okay. So, first we dip it in for two seconds. 1001, 1002, I see it changing color already. We're gonna hold it here for about 15 seconds, but I can tell you right now, well, it's not, it's not real bad, but well, let's hold it. Uh, it's starting to change more like that one, so we do have hard water, it is changing more. Yeah, it's getting, uh, Maybe you can see it better like that. Cause we're on well water. We don't have uh, we don't have city water. They're wanting to bring it in, but we don't want to do that because then they make you pay for everything. So, but yeah, we're right about yeah right at 50. So that's hard water. So you know I'm gonna take these samples every so often. Still not that bad though, I mean, it's reading between 25 and 50. More on the 25 side than the 50, so it's not real super bad, but I'll show you what we're going to be doing. And so I ran the test again, this time I let the water run. I know colors look different in the, wa or in the camera, but it's looking like 50, which is hard water. Now I've seen it a lot worse, I've had it my own experiences well with changing putting softeners in for people I mean they was like way up here but as you can see it is darker than the 25 now more like 50 between 50 and 120 I'm gonna say it's 50 that's parts per million so 50 so it's hard water but it's not as bad as I thought so you can you can tell a difference there when I ran the I let the water run a little bit. Okay, so now we'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so here's our new unit. I've already got, this is called the basket. I already got it put in. I've got the seals lubed up, lubricated. <clears throat> this is gonna screw down into this. I got some fittings here. Um, they'll screw onto the bypass valve. This is real simple. So let me get you stood up here on a stand and we'll screw the head unit onto the tank. This comes pre-filled too. Um, what is it? Aquasure is the name of it. So nice instructions, which I don't really need, but I keep them out in case. I did look over a few things. So let's get this screw down on top of that okay so it's down on here get it started waiting on mommy to get back
There we go. Now, before my haters say anything, I know about the bathtub. I know about the spigot in the bathtub. I know about the tile. Don't worry about that. We're getting a new new stand-up shower in there, so we're going away with the tub. So we're gonna get new windows put in. We're getting a new roof put on within the next couple of weeks. Oh, hang on, that's Timu for Monkey. All right. Now, I want to lube these up. They give you a little tube of lube. If for some reason you didn't get the lube that they give you, or you run out, you accidentally use too much, you can use Vaseline on this. This is a small one. I got like a small, medium, large. This one's 30. <coughs> excuse me. 30 some thousand grain. Medium one, 60 some thousand grain. Anyway, it goes up. But it's easy to understand because, you know, see, stuff like this, like in hot water tanks, if you, you know, it goes by your household let me get a tool for this so household like this one's one to three people there's three of us in here and, or one to two bathrooms so this will be good they last about ten years hang on okay so, so they last about 10 years. Brian tank holds 80 pounds, will hold 80 pounds of salt, which we have. What I usually do, once I get it filled, I'll, uh, I've got, I got three 40 pound bags. So once I get it filled up, I'll have another 40 pound bag sitting there somewhere close with a cup in it. And then as it goes, drops down, I'll just add as it needs it. And, um, uh, that way, I don't have to lift 80 pounds of salt every month or two months or, you know, whatever you go through. Uh, it's a lot easier that way. You guys can... If you guys can hook up a hot water tank or anything like that, this this is not going to be a problem for you. seen that one I was like I know I didn't put it on there all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get this put it get this put together and then we're gonna go in cut a couple lines then we'll glue some lines together This is one inch here. So, and then to three quarter. I'm not sure what I got to do in there, but um, we'll, we'll fix them to see, huh? We'll find out. I think this is the drain. And then this goes into the, the salt, the brine tank. All right, so. There. Okay, looks 
good. This little wire on the back is where we're gonna the plug for a little um, yeah, you gotta plug it in. But I've done some research on this. A lot of people's real happy with these, so I thought we'd give it a try. It's right around 500 bucks through Amazon. Um, it's about the same price through Amazon as if you go through the company. So, um, but it does come with a warranty. You get a five-year warranty if you register this thing. So that's like half the life of the unit. Because these units here, they say around 10 years. Um, but like I said, if you register this, you can do it through with your phone, or you can fill something out and mail it into them. And you know, you got half the life of this thing is going to be under warranty, so that's pretty cool. All right, so this is where this is going to sit. This line goes outside. This is our inlet, so it's going to come up here. I'm going to cut it here. Whoops, sorry. It's going to go in over on this side. That's going to come out of here and go up to there. And then our tank, or our uh, brine tank will sit here. So, and I guess this is a backlit display, so you can set it however you want it. So that's going to be, that's going to be nice. So as soon as she gets back, you know, I'm going to put these on. And I'll get this cut. I'm not going to show you every little step. I mean, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it here. I'm, you know, glue a straight piece in here and then an elbow to go up. And then this will move over then. And I'll have a straight piece. I got another one of these. You ain't see nothing. So I'm going to, all I'm going to do is cut it here, guys. This is simple stuff. I'm going to cut it right here. Okay. And the bottom section. I'm going to come over here straight piece with an elbow so it can come up and in and then this will have a straight piece with an elbow going up real simple and then our other hoses our drain hose will go that white line right there closest to us middle of the screen that big line there's enough room to send our drain hose outside and then the smaller hose will come and it'll hook into the brine tank and then um, I'll just set it up. They're real easy to set up, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, it should be self-explanatory. You can do, you can program this to do all kinds of things. You know, how many gallons you want it to to uh, to regen and all that stuff. And uh, when you want it to backflow, when it backflows, you know, it's got to go outside to drain. I know somebody was. I also read the bad reviews too, and uh, somebody was complaining that they had a professional plumber install theirs, and they said that when it did its uh, back flush, it filled up the um, the brine tank and flooded their garage or basement basement I think it was, and I'm like. Well, if that happened, he had those two hooked up. They because first they was complaining it never did work. It didn't soften their water. Well, that's why he had the wrong hose hooked up to it. So, yeah, some professional. But anyway, there we go. So, but um, <laughs> I said I never did shorten them. But anyway, there we go. Monkey's back. So, I see her up there. She's coming in, so. It's not locked, monkey. It's not locked. <laughs> it wasn't locked. <laughs> okay, so there she is. And I know that you need this tape, right? Yeah. There you go. I got you two. No, I need electrical tape for the wires. No, you didn't. What did I say? You said plumber's tape. I got plenty of that. I need black tape, electrical you tape. You're gonna hurt your ass. Because I gotta hook up the. I gotta hook this up. That is what you told me. Plumber's tape. Well, I was wrong. Sorry. I'm just kidding. All right, guys. I'll be back within a second. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt your ass. Okay. 
we got it in we've got it hooked up looking good I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and peel this off of here just going to kind of study the manual and uh, see what I got to do to uh, program this but first we got to get the brine tank in and it's going to hook here on the sides that blue one's going to go down the tank and there's an orange one right back there it's going to go outside yeah that one and you just pretty much they're quick clips you take them clips out stick the line in put the clips in so very simple okay guys so this the drain line see the orange and this is the brine line all you do is just push them in there and then give them a tug out and make sure they're tight stop it <laughs> and uh, same with this one your brine line which is the blue one it's just going to come down and just plug right into there just push it in and then pull it out a little make sure it's tight and it is now we're going to move on to the next step okay so what it's doing now is back washing right there and then it will go to what's it say here it'll go to brine draw because I had I added 80 pounds of salt and five gallons of water and that'll take about 60 minutes total after the brine draw the rapid rinse will start for a duration of 10 minutes allow the entire cycle to run so the resin is rinsed clean when the resin cycle is complete the control screen will move to the brine fill which is BF this phase will fill water tank into the brine tank back will fill water back into the brine tank you should gradually start to see the water level rise to half a tank full let the entire brine fill finish see and then after it does that back there I'll turn that valve on and then I'll set all that stuff up how I want it okay guys so here we go we're all done I like the backlighting it's blue I don't know if the camera's showing it I've got I put another 40 pound bag in there what I usually do see there's a drain right back here right here's a drain like in case it ever flows I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a tube on it and run it outside just in case you never know some malfunctions but what I usually do is there's that drain I usually go right below that they say <clears throat> as a rule of thumb for these they um, no less than a quarter full because you know there's different sizes of these and no more than four to six inches below the top which that would put me about five inches that would put me about five inches so I'll fill it up to you know right there well about right about right here so it'll go up to about right there is what I'll fill it up with salt and then I'll keep a 40 pound bag here somewhere beside it handy and as I need it I'll scoop it in so yeah pretty nice um, to set these up very very easy if you can set up your cell phone you can set that up with no problem uh, the regeneration mode it pretty much does well it does do everything itself takes about an hour and 20 minutes altogether for it to do everything it needs to do so I think it's time to run a test on it and see now the hot water you'll notice this you'll notice the cool cold water immediately but the hot water remember there's what 60 gallons in here that we got to go through first before we start noticing that they say usually about 48 hours but let's say you don't use your hot water in 48 hours it's not you know your hot water's so when 
when we have our showers tonight what I usually do when I set these up is I'll run the hot water tank empty then I know it's full of soft water for the next time well not empty no I shouldn't say that <laughs> no never run these things empty what I'll do is run it until it gets cold and then I know all the hot water the old water that was in here will be gone or you know 99% of it and then so by tomorrow hot water for dishes and showers and whatnot will be ready so yeah we're gonna put our lid on here we're going to uh okay cool it was on there let's go let's go check the water now and see how hard the water is remember before the most it went up to is 50 which is borderline hard and soft water but you saw the bathtub that's not rust that's hard water stains you know so because we've got all plastic all plastic lines well these are rubber now remember guys this is just a coating this is just protective you know um, that's rubber line and we've got all plastic lines so um, yeah that's what you're seeing there uh, like I said we're gonna be getting a new shower put in new windows and a new roof finally so but anyway we'll talk more about that on another video but um yeah so now I don't need to do anything I don't need to touch it I got it set for 1100 gallons uh, or 1200 gallons it'll regen itself it'll count down um, so I ran before I set this up I ran about a hundred gallons through it and then this so I ran about 119 gallons of water through it the cold water just to make sure everything's out of the lines and everything like that so um, yeah it's ready to go this is simple guys I didn't film a lot of it because really all I did was cut that line in half and put one into the inside and one to the outside you know into the inlet and then one for the outlet this goes out to the uh, out to the um, the sink out outside so um, yeah let's go check our water now okay let's get one of our test strips out this was cheap it was like nine bucks remember before we was on 50 okay so can you see that we was on 50 before so let's see what it is now let me let me get some water here <clears throat> Straight out of the tap. 1001, 1002. And you hold it like this. There's 50. There's zero parts per million. So we are soft as 25, and as you can see, we're way below that. We're on zero parts per million. <laughs> awesome. So that's cool. Um yeah right on oh my god it tastes like filtered water well technically it is all right cool beans okay so I got a another glass of water here and we're going to check it with the TDS tester we're going to see it here I just screwed up hang on turn it on you want between 0 and 500 parts per million and let me come up here so you can see that okay so let me hit the hold button because if you take it out it'll go oh one one ninety four hundred ninety four parts per million and you want zero between zero and five hundred <clears throat> so our water is perfect now it's always been good with this we've got a very good well of course we have a lot of sand back there you know that helps filter it even before it goes through the pump 
so this has always been good mineral wise so there we go our water is up to par now all right guys so the only thing I'm going to do is like I said after we get our showers um, I'm just going to go ahead and run the hot water until it's cold you know and then I'll know all the old water out of the hot water tank is good is gone and then we're good to go so that's it it really is that simple any DIYer can do this if you've ever replaced a hot water tank you can do this it's a lot easier actually but <clears throat> not as heavy but um and as far as setting it up setting the time and stuff like that the book is so easy I mean it looks like there's a lot of stuff in here but I mean it really explains everything that's why it looks like it's a lot but really it's not like all this stuff is different things that you can set on your own really I only had to go through four settings um, the time gallons per minute um, just a couple things like that and um, once it like I said I said at 1200 gallons they say about a thousand which comes out to be if I did the math correctly for three people it's usually about 1055 gallons ish uh, so I set it for 1200 gallons every 1200 gallons when it hits the 1200 gallon it'll count down to zero when it hits that zero at 2 a.m. it'll regen I don't have to do anything so like I said if you set up your cell phone you know you're good to go and for the older generation like me <laughs> remember trying to set a VCR clock oh my god horrible <laughs> an oven clock you know the clock on your microwave if you can do that you can do this it's pretty it's self-explanatory really but the instructions really go over every little detail so you know a year from now we'll do another review on it so or you know a year in review so but right now I mean like I said water the cold water once it does its regen because that's what it starts out with I mean you, your cold water like I said immediately is soft and then uh, once you you don't have to run your your hot water tank until it gets cold I just do that way I know all that old waters out of there and as soon as that happens it's pretty much soft too you know especially you know and then that's it but uh but if you don't depending on how much water it could take up 48 hours you know depending on how many showers you're going to take in 48 hours and how many dishes loads of laundry blah 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 so that's why I just when she does her shower it's 10 o'clock right now so once she has her shower then I'll just go in and run hot water until it's cold then I know it's all gone so thanks for watching guys appreciate it wasn't really a how-to I was just bringing you along with me on it because really I mean it's just so easy I mean you've seen me do water lines before that's pretty much it I guess the hardest part if you want to call it hard it's not it's not a really hard job but so anyway guys there you go thanks for watching Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now we'll see you guys in the next one stay tuned for more videos bye bye guys enjoy the rest of your week stay safe everyone